Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Okay, about a week or so ago, I bought this kit. Let's have a look. There she is. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, what is this kit? What does this kit do? And I'm going to quickly show you, and I'm going to give it a review and all that sort of stuff so that you can get an idea of whether or not it's suitable for you. Okay, so to cut a long story short, it is a tube bender, ratchet style tube bender. You put the tube in and you can bend tube, such as this. This is 5 8 and we also have 3 8 This can be used for a number of things. You can use it for water, you can use it for air conditioning, you can use it for um, brakes on cars if you want to bend your own lines. Anywhere you've got a copper line, you can use it. You could even probably make your own air lines out of this uh, brass and uh, or water lines and do it that way. The reason I bought one is because you can't really bend this type of copper without it. You can't get these straight bends and there's a lot of systems that use copper now. At the moment I'm installing an air conditioner so that's why I bought it. I wanted to run some lines. I've got two of these lines to run. One of them has got, uh, well they both have nine 90 degree bends in them and some bends go like this and then it goes this way and then it goes this way. So I thought I'd buy it, that way it allows it to form the pipe, bend the pipe without distorting the pipe, especially on the angle. Once a pipe is distorted like this on the angle, it's pretty much no good. You can't bend it back to straighten it. The strength is not there the same as it would be on a nice bend. So when this happens, you've got to kind of start again, either cut and braise or cut and crimp or cut and connect a new section. So I bought this kit to be able to do these bends and it turned out pretty good. Now I just want to run, run you through what's in the kit. The kit cost me about 80 bucks. So you've got a deep burring tool. It's pretty straightforward. It's it's a nice one actually. You put it in there, rotate it round, puts a nice little chamfer on the inside of the pipe. It's got a place in its case just up there out of camera, but that's okay. Next part down, you've got this uh, pipe cutting tool, and yes, it works works fine. Let's cut uh, cut this pipe to show you. I'm not the best pipe cutter. I'm not a not a plumber or uh, anything like that. So you just turn it on there, rotate it around a few times, tighten it up a bit, rotate it around a few times, and keep doing that until the pipe cuts. You get the idea. On the back here, it's got a little bit of a tool as well for um, knocking those burrs off. So great quality, no usability, yes, you can use it, especially if you're only using it a few times like me, um, you know, once or twice a year max. Now we've got all of our sizes here. You can see them all labeled on each die. Uh, they're also labeled on the other side of the hand tool as well. So a simple matter of um, matching them up. So you've got 5 16ths here. If you were to bend that type tube, you would be using 5 16ths there and 5 16ths there. The one time I did make a bit of a mistake was by not having this pipe exactly in the groove. It was on this spot here, on this flat side, on one side. So I ended up with a bend that was good on one side. And as you can see, this bracket kinked out and crim crimped it wrongly. All right, putting the tool together. No big deal, so you put the, I guess the die you want in there, you slide it over the main point, pop the handle down the back, bring it down, find the corresponding bending apparatus for the other side, use the finger turns, wind it on. Okay, when you're ready, line up your, these grooves, put your pipe in, and crimp away, crimp away to whatever degree you want. There's two lines on there, so you can get it quite accurate. As far as degree, there's no degree radius that you can kind of do, but you can use an external sort of degree radius to get that. And then you just crimp. So, does the tool work? Yes, it works. Um, how well does it work? Well, it's not a professional's tool. It was 80 bucks. It was enough to get me over the line, but I did have my issues with it. One of the issues was that uh, when it, you're actually forming up a pipe, the pipe gets in there so tight that you're literally almost bending the material to get your your die out. That was one of the biggest problems, actually getting it out of out of the actual die. And I might have uh, where's the correct one for this? Uh, like this one here. You know, as you can see, I can't even get it back in there can't even get it back in there because that's how tight it actually was bent uh, 3 8 that's the one that's how tight it was in there when it actually wrote uh, rolled the thing it does puff out a bit so these dies here are no good I would have gone with um, I would have gone with the aluminium one and paid a little bit more money but I went with this one it did the job so out of 10 what would I give it I'd give it probably a 7 um, it's not high quality but it does work okay that's what I've got to say about the pipe bender thanks for watching Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Okay, so I've shown you on this tube bender, 
uh, allows you to bend copper. And the reason I got this is because in, I'm installing an air conditioning. But I want to show you something else which is an absolute game changer. This is a great tool, don't get me wrong, but there's something a little bit better. That is these things. Okay, so normally when you're connecting an air conditioner, you need to flare the end of it. As you can see there, there's a flare, like a cone shape. That will go onto the other side, and that's on that piece of brass. And that has to be done well, otherwise you're not going to get a seal on this side, or it's going to leak out from this side. These things right here are a game changer. And these are very similar to the uh, Pertec or Sharp Bite type poly lines that you put in. These are designed for copper. So what you can do is, I'll quickly show you here. You get your piece of copper tubing here. You give it a... Give it a little bit of a deburr on the inside there. Do it again, make sure we do it nice and neat. Okay, then you come along with this tool here, which will measure the depth, and you give it a little mark. Let's put my text back so it doesn't dry out. Then, when you want to connect on your flare, rather than having to bend the flare and all that, these are all pre-done in the factory, you come along with this one here, make sure it's right in the middle, and you can slowly, slowly push it in until you can feel it coupling up. Once you push it in, high deep enough you'll see your mark is all the way and you'll see inside the window that you can see copper that means it's locked on and don't worry if you've made a mistake these are just like those uh, water ones you can push that on there and you can pull it down and you can pull your connection right off absolutely brilliant these are a game changer these will change most likely the air conditioning industry quite a bit because this will allow you to do uh, join to join or join to flare so if you're joining two pieces you can use two or you could use ones that uh, have the flare on one side which are called a socket or I think there's even a 90 degree one. The reason these are good is because as people are starting off in the industry they're apprentices or they're young and they're getting into their trade they might not be able to achieve the perfect flare and things like this so it'll reduce It'll reduce imperfections in their work and allow them to get over the line by simplifying the process, um, meaning that they can earn money for their boss and you know things can start to move. It'll also change as far as uh, a few of the harder parts of air conditioning, such as uh, flaring and joining, allows a few other people like me who are tradespeople but not air conditioning people to do some of the job as well. So it's allowing uh, connections of copper pipes to be done without the need to braze or crimp. To crimp them you need a two three thousand dollar tool, to braze it you need to be reasonably good at brazing. I can braze but I haven't brazed that many pipes in my life so it's not something I can quickly do in about a minute or two and get a perfect finish on. That's why spending 20, 20 bucks or 30 bucks on a coupling like this was the right choice for me and considering that they're the same as what they are with the shark bites with the water ones they're, they're absolutely awesome who are they made by okay they're made by profit they're a u.s product um they're in imperial you're probably not going to be able to find them too easy in australia it took me a little bit but i eventually did find them we're still crimping and and brazing over here but they are out there and i was able to find them if you go online they are suited for air conditioning uh, so you can use them they do pretty high psi and all the rest the specs are on the website but it's as simple as um, cut the pipe, deburr the type, use the prep tool, slide it into the desired depth, push the fitting in, double check through the window that the fitting's in and you're done. So what would I rate these products out of 10? Well, I'd give them a 10 because they're solving a job that otherwise you couldn't possibly, well, you could possibly do, but it would be a lot harder, 10 times harder. Flaring a connection like this and getting it perfect it takes a lot more work even the strength sorry even the torque setting to tighten a larger nut compared to a smaller nut is different because you actually have to squeeze that material that's been flared down against its opposing side to get a perfect seal so you still have to talk these ones down to the same size but you're reducing a lot of those angles and that how do you say a lot, a lot of the problems pretty much um, cut it dress it stick it in once you've got it you can turn it turn it onto your fitting talk it down and you're good to go it really doesn't get much easier than that so it simplified a, a massive problem and with the bar bender well it, it works it's a lot better than using some of the outer benders that i've seen and i was able to get some pretty nice tight bends on this as well so these two, two things put together will get you over the line these parts right here if you've got to um, do any air conditioning or anything like that on an ungas system or if you're doing some sort of water piping you could quite easily use these and they work absolutely brilliant um, these ones more for air conditioning, but you can get other ones that you can use for water and air. These ones I got particularly because they're um, high PSI, they're rated high PSI and they're rated for air conditionings. Leave your comments down below and thanks for watching.